Okay, let's let's preview the the Vegas Golden Knights Winnipeg Jets uh, conference final series. Um, I think the winner of this series wins the Stanley Cup. I think it does go to seven games. It's going to be tight. It's going to be intense. It, they, these two teams are going to hate each other by the end of the series. Um, I think with the way both teams have played all year, and 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 where back in this time last year we we were dissecting the regular season failures, and, and and Winnipeg did go on a late run towards the end of last season, but not enough to get into the playoffs, and they were they did come up short, um, but they showed enough signs last year that growth for this year. Um, they have fixed the goaltending. Uh, Steve Mason wasn't the answer; it was just Alan Buck needed to develop. Uh, I, I, st I still think Hutchinson is probably a better backup than Steve Mason. I think Steve Mason is actually done at, at the NHL level. I think he, he's moved on in the summer. Uh, or he's assigned to the AHL. Or he goes to Europe. I don't I don't think he comes back. On on the other, on the Vegas side of things, uh, brand new team. Um, and uh, as the build-up to the season got underway, uh, a lot of people wrote off these two teams. They said Vegas would be somewhere in... In the standings, uh, they'll be competitive, and they they you know put up a good showing. What would be cannon fodder basically for for um other teams. Um, and both teams have defied expectations all season. Um, I think Winnipeg have come out their shells and actually shown how good you know this team is. And, I, and um, they made some very uh, very decent signings in the in the trade deadline. Paul Stasny. Prime example, I think he actually might sign a long-term contract with Winnipeg and stay long-term because I think he brings something that they were missing before. He just makes them going from playoff team to we can win the thing. That that's the difference. He's a he's a difference maker and he's been on fire these playoffs. Mark Scheifele has been on fire these playoffs. On on the, on the Vegas side, William Carlson uh, has had a breakout year um, and he's playing like a man possessed. Um, Solid goaltending from Mark Andre Fleury. Uh, good, good team put together by George McPhee and Gerard Gallant, and we've discussed that. And I don't want to over discuss the um, the qualities of Vegas and and the way that they use the expansion rules very effectively to put a team on the ice that is effective from day one, that can compete at this level and can um, grow and develop. I, I I think they they were very effective in in that respect. Uh, I think yeah, the winner of, of this of this conference final on the Western Conference is the winner of the Stanley Cup. I think these two teams are I think are better than Tampa and uh, Washington. They're more physical. I think they're a bit. I think Winnipeg is probably uh, the quickest of, of the two. Um, although Vegas is the more solid, as in all round, not one star player uh, having to drive the team. Everyone drives the team forward. Um, Two slightly different styles. Uh, I think that's going to be interesting as how they adapt to each other's styles and who can shut down your position the best. Um, both like getting up shot and actually having the least shots, but they have very accurate shooting. So that's going to be very, very interesting. Um, who dominates the shooting uh, the shooting ranks? Because they actually not regularly been outshot in the playoffs, yet they seem to outscore their opponents. So they're very accurate with their shooting and they, and they get in prime positions to take those shots. Um... Both are very solid in their own end. Uh, a lot of shutouts in there. It's going to go to seven. I, I could not tell you a winner, but I'm going to tell you now. I, I'm crap at predictions. Uh, even though I've got the last two, uh, these two previous rounds for these two teams correct, I, I still think that um, both teams go to seven games. Well, it goes to seven games. Uh, it gets finished uh, in Winnipeg in game seven. Uh, I think home ice advantage will be crucial. And uh, if Winnipeg can get back to how they were so dominant at home, because they only lost very few home games. Um, and as soon as they lost their home game, they were back on it on the next home game. So uh, I have no doubt uh, that Winnipeg will be fired up for uh, the first couple of games uh, at home, because they are the home, because of their league finishing position, they were higher than Vegas, they have home ice advantage. Uh, and I honestly think that it's going to be a brutal, bruising series. And by the end of it, these teams are going to really hate each other. I think the fans will start hating each other as well. But at the same time, there's an element of, of class about both fan bases to a point. And um, it, it's, an ex it's just going to be a, the, one of the best experiences as a hockey fan trying to watch these games, catch up on these games, uh, 
have the phone alert in the middle of the night. I am looking forward to that, even though I start a new job Monday, so that's going to be interesting with no sleep. Um, maybe there's loads of early nights, just come to work, sleep, wake up, go to work. But um, I am looking forward to this series, uh, and I hope many hockey fans are as well. The Vegas story continues, the Winnipeg underdog story continues, the little the little mark, the little hockey team that could, and, and Vegas, the, the, the magic continues with the, the Golden Knights. And so there we are. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, place your comments below, and I'll have some more videos for you soon.